Do you know how to configure the queue in queue service in Natlink GPON OLT? Firstly, connect Netlink OLT to the PC. Then go to LUN settings. Open your PC network settings. Change IP manually. Click the OK button. Then open your web browser. Enter your OLT IP address on the address bar. 192.168.8.200 Then press enter button. OLT login page will appear. Type your username and password. Enter verification code and click on the submit button. We will log in to OLT status page and you can see the OLT basic information details. Then create the outer VLAN and inner VLANs. Select the OLT configuration tab. Click the VLAN option. Enter your VLAN ID. Enter description. Click the add button. VLAN ID created, then set VLAN. Tag VLAN in app link port, where you receive the ISP service. Select the VLAN port option. Choose your VLAN ID. Choose your port and tag it. Click the Submit button. After that, we need to create service profile. Click the Profile Configuration tab. Select Service Profile option. Click Add Profile option. Enter your service profile name as route. Click the add button. Select details and modify option. Select the mode option and set it as transparent. Choose port type as VIP. Enter port ID. Click the commit button. The service profile creation is completed. Select the OLT information tab on the side menu. Next step is need to create a line profile for breaking outer VLAN. Click the Profile Configuration tab. Select Line Profile option. Then select the Add Profile option on the top. Enter your profile name. Click the Add button. Line Profiles list will appear. Click Details and Modify option. Enter TCONT name. Click the Add button. Select the Jamport option on the top. 
Enter Jamport name. Click the Add button. Select Service option. Enter your VLAN in the VLAN list option. Click the Add button. Then click the Service Port option on the top. Enter User VLAN. Enter Translate VLAN. Enter Translate SVLAN. Click the Add button. We create a line profile now. Then add the ONT. Select the OLT information tab on the side menu. Select the ONU configuration tab. Select the ONU auto find option. Choose ONU and select the add button add o and new table will appear select o and new profile click the submit button select the o and new of list option Click the refresh button to refresh the page. Here you can see that the ONU is online. Then bind the ONU service profile and line profile. Select the profile configuration tab on the side menu. Click bind profile option. Select Config option. Select your line profile and service profile. Click the Commit button. A dialog box will appear. Click the OK button. Then back to Status page. Next, configure the ONT1 connection. Select the ONU configuration tab. Select the ONU of list option. A list of connected ONTs and ONUs will appear. Select config option. Click on the one option. Then complete one configuration parameter. Select mode as route. Select connect mode as PPPOI. Type your username and password. Select VLAN mode as tag. Enter your VLAN ID. Choose your binding port. Click the submit button. Then one connect running config list will appear. Click the submit button. Then one connect table will appear. Click to refresh the page. Here we can see the status is connected. Select the ONU of list option. Select config option. Click on the one option. Then complete one configuration parameter. Select mode as route. Enable net. Select connect mode as PPPOI. Type your username and password. 
Select VLAN mode as enabled. Enter your VLAN ID. Select service mode as internet. Choose your binding port. Click the submit button. Then one connect running config list will appear. Click the submit button. Then one connect table will appear. Here we can see the status is connected. Click the system configuration tab. Select the device management option. Click the save button to save all the configurations in OLT. Please subscribe our channel and also press the bell icon there for getting notifications. Leave a comment.